Cathedral City for the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic. UCLA taking on LSU. Here in the five o'clock game at Wrigley Field. It's game four of the day, Rachel Garcia on the mound. Paige Halstead behind the plate. They're today's battery for the Bruins. First pitch strike for Rachel. Aliyah Andrews leading it off for the Tigers. A little fun fact for the Bruins, Brianna Tatalafua is the stepsister to Vanessa Takiahu for the Oklahoma Sooners who played earlier today. One and one the count to Aliyah Andrews. Swung on, chopped over the head of the third baseman. Nice execution right there. Ball bouncing off the hard playing surface and into left field for a single. Andrews did her job by getting on base and utilized this hard ground here at Palm Springs. The field are known for their rock hard surface. Kelly Perez at the plate, playing second base. I'm sorry, Emily Griggs at the plate. Center fielder for LSU. Runner on first base and one strike. Called on the outside part of the plate. Count is now 0-2 to Emily Griggs. I actually had the privilege of playing with Rachel Garcia in travel ball. I used to be her catcher, and I also faced her my last season as a Titan in regionals there at UCLA in the championship game. Pitch misses down and outside. First baseman Kinsley Washington is also a former Corona Angel. Count remains one and two. To Emily Griggs. Foul the way. Griggs stays alive. Garcia is one of those pitchers who has speed and movement. You have to make your decision before she releases the ball. Blocked by Halstead. Piss, miss, piss, pitch misses in the dirt. Paige Halstead, good job keeping it in front. Not allowing the runner on first base to advance to second. <laughs> Called strike three on Emily Griggs. Big strikeout right there for Rachel Garcia. Still have one out runner on first base. <clears throat> Bring to the plate the shortstop, Amber Serrett. Rachel Garcia is one tough cookie. Her senior year of high school, she was Gatorade Player of the Year. Mid tryouts for the USA team made the team, and in a CIF playoff game, tore her ACL. Had to miss playing for the USA team over the summer, rehabbed, came back, and tore it again. A 
One won the count, one out, runner on first base for LSU. Trainer comes out. Take a look at Amber Serrett's, looks like she's taking a look at her hand. to the count. One out, runner on first base. Amber Serrett digs back in. Looked like a fastball right down the middle. Amber Serrett unable to handle the heat. Striking out for the second out of the inning. That's one thing about Rachel, she'll keep pounding you in on the strike zone. She will go farther, farther in than the pitch before, forcing you to swing. Amanda Doyle, first baseman now hitting for LSU. Runners on the move and the pitch is popped foul and out of play. One strike is the count, two outs, runner on first base. Swung on and missed for strike two. 0 oh 2 is the count. Swung on a miss for strike three. Catcher is able to make a nice throw there. This UCLA coaching staff is very close. Coach Kelly Inouye Perez and Coach Lisa Fernandez have been coaching together forever. Kirk Walker recently joined them a few years back. But they all three make a great team. Owen won the count for the leadoff hitter. Brianna Perez. Hard hit ground ball to the shortstop. Fielded cleanly, thrown across the diamond for the first out of the inning. Nice, easy ground ball right there for the shortstop. Amber Serrett. And Ollie Wall Jasper gets the leadoff hitter to ground out for the first out of the inning. on into center field, soft line drive. Good effort by the outfielder there. Diving attempt by Emily Griggs, she's unable to make the catch. And Kylie Perez is on first base with a single. UCLA very well known for their long ball. while Jasper's job is to keep the ball in the park. Here it is again, taking advantage of the pitch on the outside half, not trying to do too much. Good contact, just enough to get over the shortstop's head in front of the center fielder. For a single and her first at bat of the ball game. Runner on first, Kylie Perez is a veteran player for the Bruins. The Bruins last year made an appearance at the College World Series. Fell short, but in hopes to making it again this year. Yeah, 
Ball tips off the catcher's glove. Gets away just a little bit. Not enough for Kylie to advance to second. On the one-two count. Alea Jordan grounds to the third baseman. She's unable to get the double play, but gets the leadoff out at second base. Nice one hopper to the third baseman. Second baseman, baseman gets there in plenty of time to cover for the out. Alea Jordan beats out the throw to first base for the fielder's choice. Now we'll have two outs for UCLA with a runner on first base. Swung on, out of play. Foul. Count is no balls, one strike, two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Nice off-speed pitch right there by Allie Wall Jasper. Caught the hitter off guard out in front of the pitch. That off-speed is one of Allie's go-to pitches. She will throw it in any count and is not afraid to throw it for a strike or a chase pitch. Good job by the catcher right there, keeping the ball in front. Count goes to one and two right here with two outs. Lined foul. Count remains one and two. Brianna does a good job at letting that ball get deep in the zone. Perhaps she let it get a little too deep, which resulted in just foul. One and two is the count. Allie Wall, Jasper. Nice piece of hitting right there by the cleanup hitter. Was not fooled by the, the fastball. Looked like she was looking for that pitch. Did not miss it. Nice short compact swing. Not only did she clear the fence, but cleared the fans, cleared the tent. Cleared everything there in left center. There you can see nice easy short compact swing. And that was, ball was gone off the bat. See, clears everything there in left center. Big hit right there. Bruins now lead two to nothing in the bottom of the first. As I said in the beginning of the game, these Bruins are known for their long ball. As they round third, Coach Walker will toss them a piece of candy. Every time you round third, you get a piece of candy from Coach Walker. Rachel Garcia up to bat, another powerful threat. Foul the way. 0-1-1 is the count. Two down here, bottom of the first. The UCLA leads two to nothing. Off speed catches Garcia off guard. A little bit out in front of that pitch, not able to get the barrel on it. Hits a late. Leading off for LSU, number 15, Sydney Springfield. Called on the outside part of the play for strike one. Fastball in on the hands of Sydney Springfield, not able to handle it. And the pitcher, Rachel Garcia, working ahead right now with an 0-2 count. And another fastball, this one on the outside part of the plate. 
Sydney Springfield not able to handle the pitch. Looked like she was a little bit late on that one. And Rachel Garcia retires the leadoff hitter of the inning. Curve on the outside half is one of Rachel's go-to pitches. With two strikes, you can expect to get it just outside for a strike. Now coming to the plate for the Tigers, the second baseman, Becca Schultz. Swung on, four strike two, fastball up and out of the zone. Garcia able to get Schultz to chase the high strike. Like a pitch missing just off the plate. One and one, now the count. One out here at the top of the second inning, nobody on base. Pardon me, one and two. Now the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Becca Schultz chasing another high fastball out of the zone. Nice job by Rachel Garcia right here. Throwing a pitch. The hitter couldn't handle. Working very quickly here early in the second inning. Two outs here in the top of the second. Third baseman for LSU, Shamaya Sanchez now batting. Rachel Garcia wasting no time. Strike one. Swung on and missed. Fastball in the outside corner. Count goes to 0-2. Rachel Garcia in the driver's seat right here. Doesn't have to give Sanchez anything good to hit. Has a few pitches to play with. Foul the way. Count remains 0-2. Rachel one strike away from getting her team back into the dugout. Off speed pitches, off speed pitch misses down and away. Count goes to one and two. Two outs, nobody on. Shamaya Sanchez the hitter. Swung on, popped foul, that one will get out of play. And Shamaya Sanchez lives to see another pitch. Two and two the count, two outs here in the top of the second inning. It's a great take by Sanchez. Garcia's been getting the LSU hitters on that pitch. Swung on, foul the way. Shamaya Sanchez stays alive. See another pitch.
swung on. Looks like that one's going to be playable for the right fielder. Zoe Shaw does a great job at communicating with Perez to call her off. Welcome back to the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic. Wally Jasper's Wally Alley Wall Jasper takes the mound for the Tigers. Bubba Nichols leading off for the Bruins. UCLA leads two to nothing here in the bottom of the second on a two run home run last inning. One and one is the count. Allie Wall Jasper throws her off speed. Bubba Nichols struggles to keep her hands back. Fly ball to second for out number one. Now batting for UCLA. The catcher, Paige Halstead. Batting with one out. First pitch called inside for a ball. Swung on and missed. Strike one. One and one is the count. Fastball line down the left field line, getting inside the left field line there. Good base running by Paige Halstead. Wasting no time. And running out of the box for a double the entire time. Looked like a pitch that was a little bit up and out. Halstead not trying to do too much. Poked the ball into left field. And the Bruins have a runner in scoring position with one out. Now batting right fielder, Zoe Shaw. First pitch up and in for a ball. Great take by Zoe Shaw. Swung on, fell. Make the count one and one here with one out. Runner on second base. <laughs> Taken for a ball. They can just miss a little bit on the outside. Outside part of the plate, two and one is the count. Off-speed pitch called for strike two. Not what the hitter Zoshaw was looking for right there. Swung on down the third baseline. Nice play by the third baseman. Checks the runner at second. Throws across the field for the second out of the inning. See the third baseman right there, double check, make sure the runner on second wasn't looking to break to third. Still had enough time to set her feet, make a good throw to first base for the second out of the inning. Freshman first baseman, Kinsley Washington. What a play by the left fielder, outstanding effort. Diving, catching that one up against the
Fastball misses inside to the leadoff hitter, Michaela Schlotman. Second pitch, misses up and out. 2-0 and is the count. Hitters count here for Schlotman. She's going to be looking for something she can handle right here. Garcia looking to make her way back into this count and come back with a strike. In there for a strike. 2-1 and one is the count. Swung on and missed, fastball in on the hands. Schlotman not able to get the barrel of the ball on that one. Count goes to two and two. Count goes full. Here to the leadoff hitter of the inning, Michaela Schlotman, LSU. Needs someone on base to make some stuff happen right here. And strike three for the first out of the inning. Nice pitch right there by Rachel Garcia. The beautiful pitch off the plate by Garcia. Pitch strike for Garcia. Oh, and one is the count here for Taryn Antoine, the right fielder for LSU. One out in the top of the third inning. And chases a pitch that would have been called a ball up and out. Helps Garcia out right there. And the count goes to 0-2. Swung on and missed. Chases another pitch up and out of the zone. Helps the pitcher Rachel Garcia out. Swung on and missed. Strike three for the second out of the inning. See that pitch up around her letters. Probably one she should have let go. Making it a little bit easier there for Rachel Garcia. Rachel Garcia is doing a great job at keeping these Tiger hitters off balance. Two outs here in the top of the third. The leadoff hitter, Aliyah Andrews, who just made that diving play out in left field, will bat with two outs. And the count is 0-1. Ball misses inside. One and one is the count. Swung on and missed. Count goes to one and two. Two outs here in the top of the third inning. Garcia having a very quick inning to this point, getting the first two hitters out. And is ahead in this count, one and two to Aaliyah Andrews. Just misses. And the count goes to two and two. And here's the 2-2 offering. 
Taken for ball three, low and outside. The count will go full here to Alea Andrews. Foul the way. Andrews able to stay alive. Count remains three and two. Gets it past the hitter, Aliyah Andrews, for the third out of the inning. Rachel Garcia doing a great job. Bruins, Brianna Perez leading off. Brianna Perez takes the first pitch of the, the at bat down out of the strike zone for ball one. Allie Wall, Jasper wants to have a quick inning here, gets her. LSU teammates back to the dugout where they can try to score some runs. Good off speed pitch there. Called strike one, count goes to one and one. Wall Jasper misses inside. To the shortstop, Brianna Perez, two and one, now the count. No outs here in the bottom of the third inning. Off speed pitch, line down the right field line. It's gonna be a fair ball. Kicks around down there in the corner and gives the leadoff hitter, Brianna Perez, a chance to get into second base with a stand-up double. Nice piece of hitting right there. Stayed back on the off-speed pitch, wasn't fooled. Was able to get the barrel to the ball and keep it inside the right field foul line there. Stand up double. Bruins already threatening here in the bottom of the third inning with the leadoff hitter on second base. And Wall Jasper's gonna have to go through a very tough part of the UCLA lineup. Second baseman Kylie Perez at the plate, who's already one for one in this game. Takes the second pitch of the at bat outside for ball one. One and one is now the count. Swung on, fouled away. Count goes to two and one. Kylie Perez, one of the team's veteran hitters. This Bruins team has a lot of new faces, but it's not stopping them from being known for the long ball. One and two is the count here to the second baseman, Kylie Perez. Lined on, just foul. That ball started in fair territory. Hook just foul, but hit very well. Kylie Perez doing a very good job. Staying back on the outside pitch. Driving it to opposite field. Count remains one and two. Probably not a good decision by the pitcher right there, Ollie, Wally, Ollie Wall Jasper. The runner on second base was moving on contact. And fielder's choice, everybody is safe. She immediately goes to third. Probably should have taken a look at the runner before making the decision. Still could have turned around, got the out of first base instead. UCLA has runners on first and third here in the bottom of the third with no outs. He 
these Bruin hitters are doing a good job at not trying to do too much with the ball and just putting the ball in play and letting the ball take care of itself. Off-speed pitch on the outside corner called strike one to UCLA's left fielder and three-hole hitter Aaliyah Jordan hitting 581 on the season. Line drive, base hit up the middle. That will score one. Brianna Perez across the home plate for the Bruins, who extend their lead to three to nothing. Nice piece of hitting there by Aleah Jordan. Not much the pitcher, all the wall Jasper could have done right now, right there. Line drive up the middle. And the Bruins continuing to put the pressure on LSU. See the line drive right there, nice, easy, short, compact swing. Hit it hard, not much Wall Jasper could have done right there. UCLA continuing to put the pressure on LSU here in the bottom of the third inning. Up to bat, Brianna Tatilafuo who hit that two-run home run earlier in the game with the ball that left in a hurry. Screaming line drive out of the park. These Bruin hitters are doing a great job at getting their pitch. They're staying very disciplined and not chasing the wild pitches. Miss just outside right there for Ollie Wall Jasper. 2-0 and is the count. Runners on first and second base. No outs here in the bottom of the third inning as the Bruins lead three to nothing. And the hitter in a good count right here. All Jasper with the off-speed pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Two and one is now the count. Tata Lafua thought about it, but was able to keep her hands back and take that pitch for strike one. Ball misses up and out. Count is now three and one. The hitter should look for something good to hit right here. And the runner on second base steals third. Wall Jasper not expecting that. Nice heads up play there by the base runner, Callie Perez. And now UCLA has a runner on third base with no outs here in the bottom of the third. And see, puts her head down there just for a second. Nice heads up base running there by Kylie Perez. Speed pitch. Misses outside. Excuse me, call the strike. Three and two is now the count. And ball four, misses outside. Bases will be loaded here for UCLA. No outs. Well, pitcher Rachel Garcia gets ready to step in the box to help herself score some more runs. Timeout, LSU. And the bases are loaded here for UCLA in the bottom of the third inning. Still no outs. Now the hitter will be the pitcher, Rachel Garcia, looking to help herself out here. And break this game open here in the bottom of the third. First pitch of the at-bat is taken outside for ball one. Oh, 
Ground ball up the middle, second baseman unable to make the play as it gets underneath her glove. Ball squirts into the outfield and UCLA is able to score two runs on the base hit up the middle. Score is now UCLA five and LSU zero. Still no outs here in the bottom of the third. See the ball, takes a big hop on the first hop and Rolls on the second one. This infield can be tough to play. The Bruin hitters are taking advantage of this hard playing surface and hitting a lot of chops on the ground that are quickly getting through to the outfield. Bruin dugout having some fun with their cheers. UCLA leads here in the bottom of the third inning, five to nothing. Still putting the pressure on, runners on first and second, no outs. Bubba Nichols, the center fielder, up at the plate for UCLA, and it looks like no LSU. outs. UCLA leads LSU five to nothing. Bubba Nichols, the hitter for UCLA. Called strike one. Replacing Wall Jasper on the mound, number six, Maribeth Grosuch. Nichols 0 for 1 today. And the pitch misses down. Called for a ball, 1 and 1. Now the count. Still no outs here in the bottom of the third inning. Ball taken high. Two and one now the count. Runners in scoring position for Bubba Nichols. Swung on, foul. Bubba Nichols putting a good swing on that ball. Fouled it off, bringing the count to two and two. Off speed pitch misses down. Three and two, now the count. And expect Nichols to get something to hit right here. Swung on, right to the center fielder is able to get the ball in in time. Runners unable to advance. She hit the ball pretty hard, just hit it right at the center fielder. Emily Griggs. What an arm, what an arm Griggs has. She came up firing through that ball on the line to the third baseman. Now batting. For UCLA, the catcher Paige Halstead, runners still on first and second with one out. And the first pitch to Paige Halstead is called a strike. Halstead is one for one in this game. She had a double in her first at bat. Fastball at the knees, called for strike two. Off speed pitch down. Nice 0 2 pitch. Bubba Nichols. Excuse me, Paige Halstead able to foul that one off to stay alive. Fastball 
up in the zone. Fouled off by Paige Hallstad once again to stay alive. 0-2. Remains the count with one out here in the bottom of the third inning. Swung on and missed. Good 0-2 pitch up and out of the zone. Got Halstead to chase the pitch out of the strike zone. Big strike out there. And UCLA now has two outs with runners on first and second base. Still a base hit away from tacking onto their five run lead. Right fielder Zoe Shaw steps in the box looking to score the runner on second. Second pitch in the bat is called for a strike. One and one. Now the count here with two outs. <laughs> called strike two on the outside corner at the knees. One and two is now the count. With two outs here, runners on first and second base. Lined, foul. One and two. Still the count. Off speed pitch. Misses down and away, bringing the count to two and two. Another pitch line foul. Shaw doing a good good job of battling up there. Felling off some close close pitches. Trying to get something that she can handle. Another one lined foul. Speed pitch taken low, ball three. Now with the full count and two outs here in the bottom of the third, the base runners will be moving on the pitch. Swung on, tough play for the shortstop, can't get it out of her glove cleanly. And Zosha beats out an infield single. Shortstop did a good job charging that ball. See the high chop, she fields it cleanly. Just a little bit of a bobble right there, couldn't get it out of her glove cleanly, and that's all that Shaw needed to leg out the infield single. Freshman first baseman, Kinsley Washington. Steps in the box with bases loaded, two outs. First pitch taken high for a ball. Fastball down in the zone. Taken for strike one, one and one, now the count. Bases are loaded here for UCLA. We have two outs in the bottom of the third inning. Oh. 
Pitch misses. Outside, two and one, now the count. Swung on and miss. Good pitch down in the zone right there. Got the batter to chase without a pitch out of the strike zone. And the count is now two and two. Marybeth doing a great job mixing the pitches. Yeah! Big strike out there. Left the bases. Rachel Garcia starts the lead off, hit her off with a strike. Pitching with a lead, she wants to throw lots of strikes here, keep the defense active and in the game. And center fielder Emily Griggs up the plate for LSU. Garcia looking very relaxed out there on the mound, especially with a five run lead. Ball two to the hitter, Halstead calls timeout to go settle Garcia down. Two and one the count here to Emily Griggs. Garcia really needs to work on throwing a lot of strikes here. She's got a five run lead. Needs to pitch with the lead. Ball lined foul down the left field line and out of play. Emily Griggs, 0-1 so far in today's game. High chopper to the second baseman. Makes a nice play coming in, throwing on the run to get the leadoff hitter, Emily Griggs, out at first base. Griggs with some speed, out by a step. <clears throat> Good job by Rachel Garcia right there after falling behind 2-1, and one, coming back and Throwing two strikes in a row. Pitch misses high and inside. Two and zero, the count. Here to the shortstop, Amber Serrett. Expect Garcia to challenge it right here. Doesn't want to fall behind. Three and zero. Fastball on the outside part of the plate, swung on for strike one. Two and one. Now the count. One out here for LSU in the top of the fourth inning. They trail UCLA five to nothing. Swung on and missed, strike two. Two and two, now the count. To the shortstop, Amber Serrett.
Garcia fell behind in the count, but quickly worked her way back to a two and two count. Pitch misses high. Sarah is able to lay off. Takes that pitch for ball three. Three and two, now the count. I expect Garcia to challenge Sarah right here. Fastball misses outside for ball four. And LSU has a base runner here in the top of the fourth inning. Cleanup hitter, Amanda Doyle will now step up to the plate. One out, runner on first base. Doyle 0 for 1 so far in tonight's game. One might have been a little low and outside. Umpire said it was in there for a strike. Crowd didn't sound too happy about that call. 0 and 1 is the count. Taken on the inside part of the half, inside half of the plate for strike two. Good job right there by Rachel Garcia. Getting the pitch in and on the hands of the hitter Amanda Doyle. Not able to get the barrel through the zone. Taken for strike two. Very close pitch there, very similar to the pitch that was called strike two, the very pitch before that one. Umpire thought that one was a little bit inside. Taken for ball one, one and two, now the count. One out, runner on first base. Swung on, chopped, foul. Amanda Doyle, fouls went off, stay alive. Count remains one and two. Doyle's done a great job today at fouling pitches off till she gets the one she likes. The game before this, Doyle had a 13-14 pitch at bat, which resulted in a two-run single. Fouled off again. Doyle knows how to battle up there with two strikes. Not gonna get, not gonna let Rachel Garcia get her out that easily. She battles up there. Count remains one and two. Swung on line drive over the center fielder's head. Throw into second base, not in time. Big hit there by Amanda Doyle. LSU in business here with one out in the top of the fourth inning. Runners on second and third base with one out. See the nice short compact swing there by Amanda Doyle. Nothing the center fielder can do. Hit it hard off the bat and no hesitation getting into second base there. Big opportunity for LSU to put some runs on the board here. Stepping in the box, designated player, Sydney Springfield, strike one. Garcia ahead in the count, 0-2. Just misses outside. Good. Still way ahead in the count, 1-2 and two here. Still doesn't have to give her anything too good to hit.
Foul the way. Count remains one and two. Garcia's done a great job so far keeping these LSU hitters off balance and working those corners. Swung on. They have the runner hung up at third base. She makes it back safely. The runner on second, tagged out. Here comes the runner home. Tagged out. Hold on a second. Let's see what the umpire is going to call. Calls her safe. I don't know what the call might be. Maybe another player was blocking the baseline. Hard to tell. Either way, LSU on the board here in the top of the fourth inning. See, nice play by the third baseman. Gets it to the catcher, has the runner hung up. She's able to make it back. And the runner breaks for home right there. I don't know. I didn't see anything. Looked like a pretty... Good play right there. Caught the ball, made the tag. Good defense there by UCLA. Not sure what the umpire saw right there. Here's another look at it. In. Ball beats the runner. She puts the tag on. But the umpire saying she was blocking the baseline, I believe. And the run scores. UCLA head coach not happy about the call. Make sure, making sure the umpire knows about it. Not going to change the call. Two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. LSU scoring their first run of the ball game. Trail UCLA 5-1. to one. Rachel Garcia, back to work, misses up in the zone. LSU has a runner on second base right here. Two outs in the top of the fourth inning. The hitter will be second baseman Becca Schultz. Swung on and missed, strike one. One and one the count. Garcia doing a good job at not letting that last call by the umpire affect her. She's coming in, wanting to get after this hitter. Ball misses down and in. Two and one, now the count. Strike two to Schultz. Garcia back in the count. Two outs, runner on second. Count is 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss for out number three for Rachel Garcia. Good job by Rachel Garcia right there after giving up. Brianna Perez, one for two in today's game in the leadoff spot for UCLA, looking to get that run back here in the bottom of the fourth inning. First pitch is outside of the strike zone for ball one.
two and zero the count. And taken for ball three. Marabeth looks like she's trying to work the bottom of the strike zone. And falling behind, 3-0. and oh. Called strike, the count is now 3-1. and one. Perez taken all the way on that one. Still in the hitter's count right here. Fouled away for strike two. Three and two, now the count. <laughs> Big strike out there, coming all the way back. Started the hitter off with three straight balls. And went on to throw three strikes in a row. Striking out the leadoff hitter, Brianna Perez. Now one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Ball one taken outside by second baseman Kylie Perez. She's one for two in tonight's game. One attempt goes foul. Making the count one and one. One out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. UCLA has no runners on. Kylie Perez, two for two so far in today's game with two singles. Fouled that one up and out of play. Perez is one of the Bruins' triple, hit, triple threat hitters. Perez can sneak it down for a bunt, poke it out in the outfield. Also has potential long ball power. One and two remains the count. She gets a hold of one. It has a chance. Ball falls in the right center gap. Good diving attempt by the right fielder. Taryn Antoine unable to make the play, but very good effort. Hit that one right up against the fence. Antoine unable to make the diving catch. She gets a lot of air underneath that one. Gave the right fielder enough time to try to chase it down, but hit it to a deep enough part of the ballpark. She wasn't able to get to it, and UCLA is, is in business here with a runner on second base and one out. Ball on the outside corner taken for strike one. Pitch taken for ball two, one and one, excuse me, taken for ball one, out and off the plate, one and one, now the count. Runner on second base, one out. Third baseman Shamaya Sanchez at the plate for UCLA. Ground ball to the second baseman, flips it over to first base for the second out of the inning. The runner on second base was able to advance to third. And now, with two outs and a runner on third base, catcher Michaela Schlotman will step up to the plate.
two outs here with a runner on third base. First pitch of the at bat taken inside for ball one. Two outs with the runner on third for Brianna Tatalafua. Tatalafua gave the tight the Bruins their first two runs of the game. Swung on, line drive to right field, falls in front of the right fielder for a base hit. Scoring the runner on third base, Kylie Perez. Nice piece of hitting right there. Bruins get the run back, but they gave up last inning. Now batting for UCLA, the pitcher, Rachel Garcia. See, nice, short, compact swing right there. Not trying to do too much with the runner on third base. A base hit was enough. Nice piece of hitting right there. Now hitting pitcher Rachel Garcia. Rachel looking to give herself another run. Two outs, runner on one. Line drive right at the first baseman, caught for the third out of the inning. Running out of time to make a comeback here. Leading off for the LSU Tigers third baseman, Shamaya Sanchez. Sanchez is 0 for 1 so far at the plate today. And she takes strike one from the pitcher, Rachel Garcia. Foul the way, strike two. Garcia works ahead. Puts herself in a pitcher's count right here. A lot of different things she could do right here. To Shamaya Sanchez. Doesn't have to throw anything too good. She's been doing a good job all game getting the LSU hitters to chase the pitches out of the strike zone. She's pitching with a 6-1 lead here in the top of the fifth. And she blows a fastball past Samaya Chan Sanchez for the first out of the inning, wasting no time. Goes right after Sanchez with a fastball, a little bit up in the zone. Sanchez unable to catch up to that one. Swung on a miss for strike three. Bring to the plate the catcher, number one, Mikaela Schlotman. Schlotman is 0 for 1 in today's game and is batting 238 on the season. First pitch of the at bat. Taken outside for ball one. Schlotman 0 for 1 with a strikeout so far today. One out here, top of the fifth inning. Swung on and missed by Schlotman. Rachel Garcia been doing a good job all day. Challenging LSU hitters. They've been unable to make a whole lot of hard contact. As that pitch misses just outside for a ball. One and one is now the count. Garcia with the high heat. And Slotman unable to catch up. Garcia done a very good job all night getting LSU hitters to chase that pitch up and out of the strike zone. And she wastes no time getting the first two hitters out in the top of the fifth inning. Two outs now. And coming to plate is the right fielder, Taryn Antoine. She is 0 for 1 on the day, and the first pitch misses outside for a ball.
Swung on, hit high. Looks like the left fielder was unable to make the play. Got to the ball in time. Fence may have had a factor in that one. Either way, the ball lands foul. And the count is now one and two here to Taryn Antoine with two outs in the top of the fifth inning. Swung on and missed for strike three. Nice inning there by Rachel Garcia. Going right after the LSU hitters, throwing with a lead. First pitch strike in on the hands for Nichols. Fouled off to the right side of the diamond. Line drive, base hit to life, left field. UCLA has the leadoff hitter on here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Nice. Pitch there on the inside part of the plate for strike one. Paige Hall said the catcher up, one for two today with a double. Second pitch of the at-bat misses outside for ball one. Pitch misses high. Count goes to two and one. Runner on first base, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth inning. Swung on and miss for strike two. Two and two, now the count. Line drive, hit hard, foul. Two and two remains the count. Halstead does a good job at letting that ball travel deep in the zone and driving it to the opposite side of the field. Up and in. At Halstead's eyes, she's able to get a piece of that to stay alive. Count remains two and two, no outs, runner on one. Time is called. That's a ball on the batter. Pitching violation. Swung on and hit fell. Maribeth took too much time in between pitches. Three and two, now the count. No outs, bottom of the fifth. UCLA has a runner on first base. Oh, 
Halstead gets a good piece of that one, fouls it straight back. Count remains three and two. Halstead doing everything in her power to stay alive. Halstead battling, trying to just get the ball in play. And she does just that. Hard line drive to center field, moves the runner to third. Great piece of hitting for Halstead. And UCLA is right back in business here in the bottom of the fifth. Line drive, base hit. She was able to advance the runner on first base to third. UCLA putting some pressure on LSU right here in the, in the bottom of the fifth inning. UCLA puts in a pinch runner for catcher Paige Halstead. Stepping up to the bat. Right fielder, Zoe Shaw. Snap throw by the catcher down to third base. Base runner able to get back in time. First pitch of the at bat in there for a strike. Big swing by Shaw for her first pitch. Not able to make contact, but the runner moves over to second. Now the count to the batter, Zoe Shaw. Shaw fouls that one off. 3-2 count, the bottom of the fifth. Runners in scoring position. Big pitch right here for LSU. Line foul. So Shaw stays alive. Great take by Shaw, results in ball four. Bases are loaded. Very tough spot for LSU to be in right here, already trailing by five runs in the bottom of the fifth. No outs, bases loaded. UCLA, big opportunity to break this one open right here. Pinch hitter. Julie Rodriguez at the plate.
Catcher takes her eyes off that ball, tips her glove, but doesn't get past her. Runners stay. Second pitch, taken for a strike. One and one is now the count to Julie Rodriguez. One and two. Now the count on the pitch hitter, Julie Rodriguez. She looks to do something productive right here. Takes a fastball low and outside. Two and two, now the count. Base hit through the infield. That one's going to score two. The throw in on the infield gets by the cutoff, allowing Julie Rodriguez to advance to second base. And great job. They're in a pinch hitting situation, getting the job done with the bases loaded. Score is now 8 to 1 in favor of UCLA. LSU timeout. Coach trying to regroup her defense. It is now 8-1 in the bottom of the fifth. No outs. Runners on second and third for the top of the lineup for the Bruins. The game-winning run at third base for UCLA. The mercy rule is eight runs. After five innings, UCLA being the home team right here. One run away from securing a victory. Swung on, driven deep to left center field. That's going to get over the left fielder's head. Runner on third will score. And a walk off. RBI double there for Brianna Perez. Great game by UCLA there. Dominated their opponents in almost every aspect 